For number 18, we have to draw these curves and then find the area between them. So the first curve over here, this is just a square root um, function that's been shifted to the right by one unit. So let's let's draw this in. And this is one and two. Um, so it has been actually, let me add one more point over here. It has been shifted to the right by one. So we begin to the at the point one zero and then two one and then five two. Um, yeah, so it should go something like, and I think I drew this other point a little bit too high, something like this, yes, so, and if, if that's confusing for you, you should review your graphic transformations, so that is y is equal to square root of x minus 1, and now we just need our, um, and actually maybe I can draw this a little bit better, because the, the curves are going to be very small. Okay, and now let's look at our second function. So this function x minus y is equal to one. Um, if we isolate y in one side, we do get y is equal to x minus one. So this is just a straight line um, that has been shifted downwards by one. So this is negative one. Um, so this is the, the y-intercept. And this is, it should go something like, like here. Yeah, and they're supposed to kind of intersect at this point over here. Um, so let me just draw this a little bit better. Uh, and this is the curve y is equal to x minus 1. So now we just need to find the points of intersection because the area between them um, is this tiny little section over here. This is the area that's between them. So to set our integral up, we do need to find both points, right? This point and this point. Uh, you could probably guess what they are by looking at the graph, but it's always good for us to um, analytically have a precise answer. So we will set these curves equal to each other so we can see where they intersect. So we do have that x minus 1 is equal to square root of x minus 1. And I'm just going to square both sides. So I do have over here x minus 1 squared is equal to square root of x minus 1 squared. So on the left-hand side, uh, when we expand that, we do have x squared minus 2x plus 1. And on the right-hand side, the square root and the square just cancels out. So this is just x minus 1. Um, and then now we bring everything over to the left-hand side. So x squared minus 3x. And then that it should be plus 2 is equal to 0. So this does let us factor into minus 2 and minus 1 because... Minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2, and minus 2 um, plus minus 1 is negative 3. So x minus 2, x minus 1 is equal to 0, and therefore x is equal to 2, and x is equal to 1. So with this, we are ready to set up our integral. It is just the integral from 1 to 2 of our upper function, which is the, the function that's in pink. So square root of x minus one, and then minus the lower function. So minus x minus one, and then all of this times dx. So to integrate this, we do need to use um, u substitution. So we'll say that u is equal to x minus one, and then du is equal to dx. So um, when we integrate this, we will have, uh, let's substitute it first. So that is the integral from one to two of u. Uh, the square root is just to the power of one half. So I'll express it this way. So I can take the reverse power rule and then minus 
u. And all of this times du. So once I have made uh, my substitution, and let me just highlight where I, I put this in so that we can kind of easily, easily track this, right? Um, okay, so once I substitute this, then I can just do my reverse power rule. So this is u to the 3 halves times 2 thirds minus u squared over 2, evaluated from 1 to 2. Um, so let's just put back our our boundaries and then, sorry, let's substitute u back and then evaluate our boundaries. So this is 2 over 3 times x minus 1 to the 3 halves minus x minus 1 squared over 2, and all of this evaluated from 1 to 2. Um, so let's just apply our boundaries. Uh, 2 minus 1 is 1, so we do have 2 thirds times 1 to the 3 halves, uh, was minus, 2 minus 1 is still 1, so minus 1 squared over 2, and then let's apply our lower boundaries. So when we apply our lower boundary, we will have 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. So this is will just be minus 0 plus 0. Um, and to finish this off, we do have just 2 thirds minus 1 half, which is equal to 1 sixth. So this is our answer. Let me just zoom out so you can see the whole process. So all we did was uh, we drew the curves. We set them equal to each other so that we could find where they intersect. And then we set up our integral of the upper curve minus the lower curve.